Hey Gearheads, it's Jeff with episode 6 of Show Us Your Humvee. Hi, I'm Brian Garrett from Battlefield Vegas and you're watching Show Us Your Humvee. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, we need at least the year and model of your Humvee, where your Humvee lives, and some background on what makes it cool, like if you know any of your Humvee's history, upgrades you've made, how you use it in a unique way, etc. Send that info to showusyourhumvee at gearreport.com and I'll put it in a future episode of Show Us Your Humvee. Did you notice something different about all of the Humvees featured so far? You can scroll back in the video if you like. What you will find is they are all part of the military vehicles fleet at Battlefield Vegas shooting range in fabulous Las Vegas. Gear Report Zone, Jeff and TJ recently spent the day with the Battlefield Vegas crew and will share a lot of cool content about the trip. For episode six of Show Us Your Humvee, let's take a closer look at a few of Battlefield's Humvees that are used in a couple different ways. If you book a shooting session at Battlefield Vegas, you can be picked up at any of the hotels oh along the Strip in a Humvee. How you doing, sir? Yes, how are you? This fleet of Humvees varies in configuration from basic four-man trucks with three seats, plus the driver, of course, to some interesting custom passenger configurations for up to 12 passengers, some enclosed, some wide open. All of these Humvees are running stock military drivetrains with 6.2 and 6.5 liter diesel engines and three L80 three-speed transmissions. They do the same thing that the military does in the desert and unplug the TCM when it's really hot out so the engine fan stays engaged all the time. And that's it. Otherwise, they are stock military Humvees. You might also notice some of the Humvees used to pick up and drop off guests aren't really Humvees at all. They have a few H1 Hummers in the mix that have been painted to look like military trucks. I believe this is just because the Hummers are easier to title. Battlefield also has a few Humvees with working turrets for use at their outdoor shooting facility. If your pockets are deep enough, then you too can shoot a minigun from the turret of one of Battlefield's Humvees. They have other exotic firearms as well. For example, TJ shot the Modus from the turret of an M106 armored personnel carrier. But you could request to shoot the 50 cal from a Humvee if you wish, or any of the other exotic weapons that they have available. Of the two slant back Humvees with turrets, one has a cupola kit that was purchased from eBay. The other cupola was created in their shop. Here's a quick look at one of them. If you'd like more information on the turret, leave a comment. 
If there's enough interest, then I'll post an article on Gear Report with more details. There are also a variety of Humvees peppered throughout the Air, Land, and Space Museum at Battlefield Vegas. I've seen the museum referred to as Las Vegas' favorite petting zoo. In addition to Humvees, you'll find tanks and APCs from around the world, helicopters, half-tracks, cargo trucks, marine artillery, and various other military vehicles, all on display for free. TJ and I also got to roam the private storage lot for Battlefield Vegas and the museum, and I was blown away at the other cool vehicles they're getting ready for display in the museum. We'll have more on that in another video soon. Lastly, for the eco-conscious among us, Battlefield just received something resembling a mini Hummer that is 100% electric powered. I sincerely regret that I didn't get video of the reaction when we pulled into the Battlefield parking lot and Casey, the chief mechanic, saw the little red golf cart being removed from the car hauler. Let's just say he was not amused. I don't think any Humvee purists need to worry about Battlefield Vegas trying to pass off that little bastard as a real Humvee. If this basket case is ever resurrected, and that is a big if, then I expect it to be used as a shop truck with a comically ironic pseudo resemblance to a Hummer. Although it is worth noting that the doors on this little red-headed stepchild are actually nicer than most Humvee doors. That's it for episode six of Show Us Your Humvee. I can't thank Ron, Casey, Boo Boo, Cheerleader, Lady Boy, and Michelle for treating us like part of the Battlefield Vegas family during our visit. When you book your visit, please let them know that Gear Report sent you. If you'd like your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, it's pretty simple. Send some landscape-oriented pictures or a link where I can download some video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee. Please, video, landscape format. Also, we're adults, not millennials. When I get that video, I'm going to work through in the order that I receive them. So if you'd like to be featured sooner, send it in more quickly. For additional instructions on how to submit your Humvee to show us your Humvee, check out the video description down below. It's, is it here? No. Down there somewhere.